something I learned, you notice what I did then when I went over that speed bump. No problem suspension wise on something like this. Something that I learned, wow, 20 years ago. I was, I was on a driving course with a lady called Lynn. Quite possibly the best driver and instructor for advanced motoring that I've ever met. She'll be retired now, I expect. Yeah, she will. I hope she's still with us. She was based in uh, Wakefield, West Yorkshire. Those that know the area might know what I was doing for a living over there. Um, but basically we were taught high performance driving, efficient driving and it was spectacularly fun and I took to it really really well I bloody loved it and that sort of brought me into what I do today on this um, and how much I enjoy my motoring but I'll never forget some of the things she, she taught me and or she taught the, the group we were in and one of the things I'll take you back to that speed bump there was if ever you're going over a speed bump and you for efficiency use that as an area to change gear so you're taking the drive out of the equation in relation to the suspension when it hits the bump so you're causing less stress in this situation on the drive train and the chain, the gearbox. So if you're going over a bump such as that, use that as an opportunity either to pull your clutch in, you can use that in situation then to change gear. This was in a car, but it'll work the same very much with a shaft drive bike specifically. Chain driven, yeah, slightly less so I'm sure, but it was a cool tip. Uh, it makes a lot of sense and not something I've as, as always, when you're like 30 year old and you've been driving 12, 13 years and been an enthusiastic motorist as I had, and I was then even more so as I've grown in uh, in years, you think you know it all, but you don't. Nobody does, and that was one of the coolest things that I've sort of stuck to. Is that what, a, what an interesting point of view in relation to going over the sleeping policeman, like that was back there on that crossing or even just little speed bumps, pull your clutch in or dip your clutch if you're in the car and just release the tension on the drive so if you're under load and you're accelerating like that and you hit it not only are you stressing the bike anyway a little bit but Oliver's racing but um, You're also increasing that when your wheel, your rear wheel goes over it, or your front wheel in your car, for example. But that's the sort of situation I'm talking about. You're increasing the stress on the members of the bike, the, the drivetrain. And it was just something that reminded me then going over that. It's a bit anal. But if we forgot to do it, gosh, you give us some shit. And I can't remember her last name, but as I said, she was quite possibly one of the best drivers I've ever met. And certainly the best instructor. She was unbelievably good. And when she drove, wow! It was just poetry in motion. And we, all, we were all pretty good, but bloody hell did she make us look. Quite ordinary. <laughs> 